Okay, using MRAM. This is going to be really similar to the problem we just worked out. We're going to use the function 9 minus x squared. We're going to go from negative 3 to 3, and we're going to use MRAM with two rectangles of equal width. Just two, so that's really not too bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and graph this sucker. Now, um, if you need a little help, just you know, put this bad boy on your graphing calculator and check him out. But it's going to be a parabola opening down. And I don't want that guy. I, want, I don't want that guy either. I want this guy. It's going to be a parabola opening down. Something like this. Ooh, I'm a little bit off center, but uh, don't hold that against me. So um, we're going to go from negative 3 to 3. And I know that this crosses the x-axis of 3 because uh, if I put a 3 in here, 9 minus 3 squared is 9. 9 minus negative 3 squared, uh, both of those are going to be 0, okay? So I want two rectangles of equal width using MRAM. MRAM is midpoint area approximation. Uh, so the, mid, the midway point then would be at negative 1.5 and positive 1.5. All right, those are the two midpoints between zero and negative three and zero and three, okay? Because my whole uh, interval goes from negative three to three, that's six. So if I divide into two equal rectangles, each one would have a base of three, okay? Uh, then what I do to complete my rectangle is I take that midpoint, I go up from the midpoint to the graph and draw my rectangle. And uh, my drawing is, is really terrible. There's one rectangle right there. And then up, whew, yeah, up to the graph. These should be the same exact height. So we're just going to pretend they're the exact same height. My graph is not very well drawn. So uh, what I end up then with is two rectangles um, the, with bases of three. So if I go the whole width of my base that's three the width of this base right here is three okay and then the height of each of these rectangles is determined by the distance up to the graph so if i want to know how tall i am right here then i'm just going to do nine minus uh i'm going to go ahead and write this as three point three of uh, as 1.5 as three halves squared so that's going to be nine minus nine fourths and that's going to be 36 fourths minus nine fourths which is 27 fourths okay and so that's how tall i am this is my height right here this is my base is three so both of these are going to be the same because the midpoints go up to the same thing so i'm going to have 27 over four times three plus 27 over 4 times 3. Whatever that turns out to be is going to be my area under this particular curve. So when I do my math here, uh, 27 times 3, that's 1. Carry 2, 81 over 4, plus 81 over 4, which is 162 over 4, which is 81 over 2, um, I would take 162 over 4, I would take 81 over 2, I would also take 40.5. And look, we did all of that without a calculator. And you can too. All right, on this pro uh, problem, what we want to do is use MRAM to estimate the number of areas of a region enclosed by a graph of y equals 2x minus x squared and the x axis. So um, we're going to go from 0 to 2. We're going to divide that area into 100 rectangles. So arm yourselves with your calculators. I'm going to demonstrate using the TI-84. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to your program section on your TI-84 and um, choose that. Uh, but first, first, we need to go to y equals and type in our equation, 2x minus x squared. Choose the number, uh, choose the program RAM. Hit enter, it'll prompt you for the number of intervals. Choose 100, it'll ask for a left endpoint. Choose zero, it'll ask for a right endpoint. 
put in two, and it's going to probably have to think for a minute on this one. Um, it's, you know, it's got to process through and all that kind of stuff. And so when it does, um, it'll give us LRAM, RAM, and MRAM. And we're interested in uh, the MRAM part of that. <clears throat> so when you get done with that, you, you get your MRAM. And for this particular problem, um, your, your MRAM is going to sum up 100 rectangles from 0 to 2. It's going to use that midpoint area to find the area. And it's going to be 1.332. Okay, on this problem, we want to use RAM to estimate the area of the region enclosed between the graph of fx equals e to the negative, negative x squared and the x-axis um, from 0 to 1. Okay, those are the values that we're really, really interested in is from 0 to 1. And if we're going to use RAM to get an estimate, then um, we want to put as many rectangles in there as we can. Okay, and so I think a, a good plan of action here is to let n equal 500. If we can put 500 in, then um, that will give us a really good approximation. It won't be exact, but it'll be a really good uh, approximation of the area under the curve. So go to your calculator, put into y1 the equation that we're interested in, e to the negative x squared. So I'll do that right now. If you're using the Inspire uh, from my class, we have the RAM integral program, which you would run right now at this time. Um, go ahead for the number of intervals. We're going to go ahead and put in uh, 500. Um, it's going to take a while to chug. We're going to go from 0 to 1. So put those as your left and right uh, intervals or endpoints. And then hit enter. And, and then, you know, hang out for a minute. And, uh, you know, flip over and read a comic or have a nice ice cold Coke. And here they come slowly but surely. And it takes your calculator a long time to process all this. Remember, it's finding the areas of 500 rectangles and then adding them up. So this isn't something that just happens super duper duper fast. I would recommend once they're all done that you use MRAM. That's your midpoint rectangular approximation method. And MRAM is tends to be the most accurate one. Is it always every single time? I don't know. But it's the one that tends to really strongly represent the area under the curve. So for this particular guy, that's going to be 0 0.7468.